The Trojans, who have not lost yet this season, made a statement early and often. Parkland continues to dominate. They entered tonight's game as Pennsylvania's top-ranked team, seventh in the nation, and they'll improve their record to 24-0. and Triple-A girls followed with a battle of the unbeatens. A 27-0 Parkland squad was matched up against familiar state tournament foe Hempfield, who held a record of 23-0. Once Parkland found their groove, there was just no stopping them. The Parkland Trojans become the Pennsylvania Triple A state champions. The final score, Parkland 3, Hempfield 1. So this is truly a team, a uh, team effort completely from the coaches, the managers, the players. That was a unified group to go against a great Hempfield program and a great team. It feels so great. I can't, I can't even put it into words. Um, finishing my senior year with this type of win, it just feels so amazing. I've wanted this for so long and I couldn't have asked for a better team to do it with. I mean, we are a family and we're always going to be a, bit, be a family because of moments like this. And Parkland takes home its first trophy since 2011. I want another one and I know everybody else on the team does too and we're going to work so hard over the summer and in the spring during open gyms and throughout the season and I know everybody wants to get back up there on top. So we'll see what happens this year as the Parkland Trojan volleyball team gets started trying to repeat a state championship. No small feat. We'll see if they have what it takes this year in 2015. We've been playing together, some of them I've been playing with since 8th grade, so playing all year round with them just like really shows like how we have good chemistry on the court because we just know where everyone's going to be at every moment. We always mesh really well together when we're playing on and off the court and we can always make each other laugh when we're down. We've all grown together and just have had a lot of fun together uh, throughout the years of playing together. It's, uh, it's actually fun because they are an unselfish group that uh, comes to get better every day. And they're extremely competitive and they, they take a lot of pride in who they are and what they represent. And they represent this school. And, uh, they want to make sure that the name of Parkland is something that people remember in a very positive way, in a sportsmanlike way. And, in a very competitive um, situation. Being a senior, it's the last time we used to play together, so it's uh, really sad and exciting. But um, we hope we get to bring in uh, some history for the school here. Back to back state championships would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Like it's Hemfield, it's our rival, and like we're here again, and it's our last game together, and like gotta go out with a bang, you know. The goal is like rungs of a ladder. You gotta climb one rung of the ladder at a time, and uh, you establish individual goals to meet. To climb that, you know the long-term plan is where you want to end up, but to get there you got to take one step at a time, which is like the rungs of a ladder. So we got to climb each ladder and we establish goals of our opponents to make sure that we know what their different challenges are and where we're going to be challenged to meet those unique challenges brought on by each and every team.
yourself and be true to your team. It's a very special opportunity that it, it's so unique because many people don't get this opportunity. So embrace it, embellish it, and enjoy it. Don't fear it. Um, it's just an outstanding opportunity to do something that you can take with you for the rest of your life. And uh, believe in yourselves because I believe in you and you've worked extremely hard now it's your opportunity to collect from your hard work and efforts.